and we're on. Happy. Well, it's actually Wednesday today. Happy Wednesday. Um, I just thought I'd record my vlog tonight. You know that? Because, uh, because I can. Uh, right. Hello. Uh, right. What, what's been going on? What's been happening? What have I got to talk about? Um, right. Let's start this off with what have I been vaping on? Well, it arrived. It arrived. And this is what I've been vaping on. Uh, oh my little M1. Now this is a 26650 mod DNA 40 by Cloudmaker. Um, this set me back, uh, I think it was what, two, 220 or 200, 200, 220 pound. Um, this bit pulls off, shrink, and there's a 26650 battery goes in there. Now, um, now I have this by the same company, and I've, I've, I've drooled and shown you this. See the green on that reclaimed wood? It's just beautiful. Now, um, yeah, very much, well, to me, based on my financial circumstances and so on, these are, to me, very laddie da devices. Um, I mean, a couple of hundred quid is uh, money that I could be spending elsewhere, or should be spending elsewhere. Uh, these, to me, are just... I've, I've, do you know, I've bored you to death with this a million times, and I'm going to bore you again. Because I'm an evil sod, and I like boring folk. Uh, no. If I was to set this down next to... What if I can <laughs> see all my devices are? Um... <laughs> right, this. Uh, here we go. E-grip. Tremendous device. E-grip. Excellent, excellent device. Uh, still highly rate this, and I still use this a lot. Set this down. What's this cost? You can pick it up for, what, between 30 and 50 quid. Um, there's not one flaw in it. Everything's exactly where it should be. It's mass produced. It, it just does what it has to do. This cost me four times as much, and, uh, and it is flawed. The, you know, the, the, the USB charge point there is squint. It's a little bit squint. Um, there's a couple of little bit of dimples in the wood and uh, it's scuffed a little bit around here where the finishing, you know, could have been a bit tidier where they finished it. Uh, there are things like that all around this that make me go... And then I just love it all the more for it. How weird is that? How... You would think that you know when you spend that kind of money it's the perfection it's the that you that you would want but it's not for me it's some people would say it's badly finished some people will say that's character you know that there's there's a couple of ways of looking at it um i mean i yeah to me, I love it. I just think it has character. To somebody else that picked this up, they'd probably think it was a piece of shit and overpriced. It's just so strange how different we all are. Yeah, just so strange. Um, and there's all these other reviewers that have fancy catchphrases at the end of their videos, like, you know, as long as you're not in the fags, everything's cool. And yes, as long as you're not in the fags, everything's cool. Um, I'm just... And the strange thing is, going off in one, um, I mean, there's my little uh, SVB uh, Stormtrooper. Um, this is pretty much flawless. This is a a box, a metal box with a whole couple of holes cut in it, a chip and a battery. And I love this, even though it's it's flawless. There's nothing going on with it and it's just a metal box. Go figure, go figure. 
I mean, all that, and and I, and I'm just talking pesh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, right, what I have been vaping today, um, I got the Vector, the, mm, sorry, switch that, the noise is off guys, sorry about that, it's bad enough having to listen to me without the beeps, uh, the Vector, the same guys that made the Vulcan, uh, this came to me from Vape Emporium, um, this is actually uh, a, a little cheapy, uh, well when I say cheapy, I mean it's all, Vape Emporium, I just got this yesterday. Um, darn me! I've just had Thai green curry, and uh, oh, it's not a little cheapy. It's forty nine ninety nine. Okay. Um, this is a weird one. This is, is really strange uh, because I'll just show you this. I'll, I'll do the uppy closey thing. Terribly sorry. Right, you've got holes there, right? But they don't come down inside and then up underneath or come down inside and then across to the coils. They just come straight down on top of the coils. Um, you've... Mouthpiece, don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a gauze on it as well. Uh, so I'm not getting any spit back or anything like that because of that gauze, but it does... You would think that that drip tip there would give you masses of air but it doesn't because the gauze actually restricts it. Uh, put them on here. That's um I'll tell you here I'll tell you what that is. Uh, got it in at work and I just took a sneaky little vape and some of it before I left. Uh, epic uh, Epic juice called Shorty. Is it Shorty I think it's called? It's like a lemon, it says lemon cookie, I think it said in the description, but it's like a, a lemon shortcake or something like that. It, it's just nice, very nice. Uh, I've also got, uh, did I tell you this last week? Uh, this stuff, it's got a picture of uh, a really dodgy geezer on it. Uh, it's called a. Uh, you know what it's called? It's a bloody good custard uh, by Billy from Vaping King. Um, word of advice don't get in contact with Billy via his personal Facebook page. It gets kind of touchy about that kind of shit. If you want to get in touch with him, contact him via the company Facebook page. He's a nice guy, really. It can be a bit of a fanny if you get in contact with him the wrong way. Can't you, Billy? Um, I'm just kidding. I love Billy. Um, I just don't love having a picture of Damien on the juice that I'm vaping. That upsets me. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's actually quite nice. Uh, I have been chugging my way through that, quite the thing. Um, I also got uh, Vape Emporium sent this on as well. Now, kid you not, this arrived yesterday. Certified 365, uh, and th that's how much I've gone through it already in the past 24 hours. Really enjoying that one, uh, really enjoying that. Uh, what else? Oh, my back. Um, oh, um, what's the name of the site again? Clockworks. Clockworks. Uh, uh, clockwork. I'm sure it's Clockworks. Um, uh, bacon, cotton. That'll find it. Yeah, clockworkvapor.co.uk. Uh, they sent me on some of this, and might as well have a blether about it just now. Um, Cotton bacon, it's not just cotton, or bacon. It's the first cotton engineered by Vapors for Vapors. Cleanest tasting cotton for enhanced flavour, simply pinch, tear, wick and vape. Um, right. Now, people have been in touch and said, can you give us some feedback on this? 
I don't do juice reviews and I don't do reviews on materials used and things like that for the simple reason. I, I just like vaping custard. I, 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 that's what I like. And and I, and I know that people get caught up in the latest and greatest craze and whatnot. Um, and you know something that comes in a shiny bag like this or fibre freaks and things like that. Now I will say that like fibre freaks and the cotton bacon and stuff like that, very easy to work with, very easy to work with. And I'll get blasted for this probably for saying this. I don't notice any difference in the taste. I'm sorry, I don't. I've ate the same juice, more or less, um, day in, day out. I do the same number of coils, the same resistance, um, different atties, but, uh, and just using different cotton. It, it's got to the point now where I just chuck all my cotton in a box, because trying to distinguish between what tastes better than this or that, I don't, I don't, I, hands up, I swear to God, I don't taste anything, any difference. I, I really don't. Um, that's it. That's it. Would I, and, you know, Clockwork Vapor probably going, I wish the fuck, we hadn't sent that to him now. Um, would I go out and buy um, fiber fakes, cotton bacon, or stuff like that? I'm quite happy just using I'm just as happy stealing Karen's cotton pads from up the stairs that she uses for wiping her face at the end of the night. Um oh my god, I can't believe I said that out loud, but there you go. It works for me. If you're happy with all these things and and you like the shiny packets and all that kind of stuff, go for it. Yeah. Uh, whatever you're happy with. Whatever keeps you off the fags. Um, I feel at this point I should come up with something saying, but it wicks better and um, it retains more juice and uh, I don't really notice. I don't really notice. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Right. Um, oh! The Phantom that I reviewed, I put the review up for. Uh, now, uh, who was it that said it? You can get them in the UK, and I think there's something like £34 for this in the UK. And I can't stress again, if you're looking for a mechanical, um, yeah, awesome little bit of kit. Uh, I'll tell you what else I've done, I, I've put my review up. Now, they sent me three. Uh, so what I've done is I went to my Facebook page and I asked for three reviewers, um, not established reviewers or anything like that, but just up and coming, you know, people that are dabbling or trying their hand at reviewing and that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to send those three out to other three up and coming reviewers um, and give them a bash at reviewing them. Because uh, I like doing that kind of thing. Cause you know, when you start out reviewing, you, you, you're buying all your own stuff. Um, so, ah, help somebody out. You never know. Um, also, a brand new MVP Pro 3 uh, on my Facebook page. There is a sticky there. If you want to win that, then just chuck your name in and, yeah, you could win that. Uh, just found it in the box there, so I thought I'd give that one away. Um, I, what did I get, what did I get, uh, let's go from here to here, where's here? <laughs> I'm so out of it, I really am, not as much as I was last week. <laughs> that was a bad, that was a bad, bad vlog that one. Um, right notes. Um, put up a pile of stuff last week for Scottish Association for Mental, Mental Health 
and also some stuff for Maggie's Center. Uh, so that's in June so far. That's eleven hundred pound raised so far in June. Uh, so that's gone to those two charities, and I've got some stuff on eBay just now. Username MT01631 Mike Tango MT01631 uh, There's No, that's not it It's nothing It's not I'm, I'm actually uh, There's a, a guy on one of my forums uh, On my forum uh, He passed on a genuine Iron Man uh, Maraxis uh, so that's up there. There's a couple of little tomahawk mods, it's both serial number 001. There's a black one and a copper one. Um, and there's some other gear out there as well. Um, and so thank you to everybody that is bidding or, or helped get that money in for those charities. Um, so Done that, done that, done that. What else have I been vaping on? Oh, i tell you what I've been vaping on. My little rocket. Um, Errol Koenigin. Errol Koenigin. Um, and the, the Errol Throne. <laughs> I think I've got that right. Uh, I've been vaping on that. That's 18500 with a little shorty. Um, Still think, I, I mean, this is so random. I mean, it's so many people aren't going to like this kind of, you know, design and whatnot. But the switch is still a work of art, in my opinion. Still love it. Um, right, I've got what, I, there's stuff. I'm, I'm missing stuff. Missing stuff. Oh, I put my review up for uh, the M Vapes box. I stand by what I said in that review, uh, totally. I still think that it's an excellent little box mod. Um, yeah, it, die. My, my opinion hasn't changed from the review. I, I, it just, there's, there's something about it. It does have that, some guy made this. Some guy made this in his workshop, uh, but it's, do you know, I, it's good. Um, for some reason, hey, what the hell? Oh, that's, why am I on this page? That's, oh, God, do you remember that? The Kerfanis tank. Was that a Kato tank? It was a Kato, was it? Ah, it was, the Kerfanis tank. Uh, the... Tripolotis, Tripolotis Tower Tank by Kerfanis. I've just, this review's come up. I recorded that on the 9th of June 2012. Bloody hell. Yeah, that was a while ago now, eh? Uh, right. What have I been watching on a YouTube? Uh, oh, Grimm's put up a review for the Castador. Or cast a good good the good door. Um, I ain't watched that. It's only twelve minutes long. Um, Ruby's got one for the Titan. I watched Ruby's new format. Um, uh, I don't know. I'll take my wee time to get used to that. Um, what else? There's there's, there's, there's a few. There's. Um, Watch Damien's waffle. I like I like the fact that Damien's getting so fat because it takes the heat off me. You know, keep it up, mate. I mean, I, yeah, keep it up. I think you're doing a great job. You put a lot of work in there. <laughs> um, and there's loads of vape shows. People coming up with vape shows. I noticed that seems to be the the latest coolest thing is to have your own vape show. Uh, I think Vaping Fagan's got one uh, with Johnny from Vapor Watch, and there's Vic 
Uh, Vic Mullins doing one as well. That's sponsored by Vidal Sassoon. Uh, <laughs> um, that's it, that's it. Um, and Mr. Bissardo, uh, what's the... The Kanga Subbox Mini. Nah. I really, oh, they boil my blood. Releasing all these mods and tanks and whatnot in, in that short a time frame. I just, I know they're in it for the money. Everybody's in it for the money in this game. I mean, let's, you know, that as a business, electronic cigarettes, that, you know, it's to make money for people. Um, I don't think, you know, Kangers sit down for one minute and think, how can we get people off these cigarettes? No, it's about making money. I just think it's, there's something wrong about releasing a product, version 1, version 1.1, version 1.2, you had so many products in such a short time frame. You're not telling me that, like, the Kanga Subbox Mini, you know, like, three months ago, they didn't know when they released the K-Box that they weren't going to come out with the Subbox Mini. And people with the K-Box were going to go, oh, but I have to get the latest one. You know, I've just got to stop ranting about that. That's, but it, it bugs me. It really bugs me. Um, i tell you who got in contact... Who got in contact with me? Um, a company called Vape MX. The, the I don't know much about the de the device to be honest. It's Vape MX Inc. or VapeMX.com. Uh, they've got a a mod to send it on. It's got temperature control and all that jazz. It's been <laughs> asked them about the chip and whatnot. They said the temperature control mode has been tested by a world-renowned person in the field. Better hope it works then, eh? Uh, whoever tested that one. And that's it. Right, here we go. Um, can't see. Flav M. Um, some guy called Flav M or Flav M. There is a thread this guy dropped me an email and it pointed me to a thread by Mooch on ECF and it's Mooch has da, completed a pile of testing on the Aspire 40 amp batteries, the ones that I have, they sent on to me. And basically what he did, you know, after at the end of all this testing, uh, where's the summary? In his opinion, the conclusion was that these are 1700 milliamp hour batteries, 15 amp CDR cells going down to 2 amp. Basically they're not 40 amp batteries, that's what he's saying, they're 15 amp. Um, and if you go in and read this in detail, it's Scary, scary stuff. Now, I got in touch with Aspire uh, this morning and I sent them links to this thread and I'm waiting on them getting back in touch with me and giving me their feedback on it, basically. Um, because certainly from what he's saying here, it, it, it really doesn't match what they're saying. Um, Actually, I'll be just um, uh, I'm going to reply to his page just now. Sorry, I can't. Uh, I used to be able to touch type and watch and type at the same time many moons ago. Right, and that's a message from Mr. Robert Wood. <laughs> I did a deal, uh, a, a trade. Anyway, sorry, no. Um, yeah, the Aspire batteries, I will post here, I'll post on my Facebook page and on the ECF thread. Um, 
as soon as I get any feedback from Aspire. Uh, but until I get feedback from Aspire, um, I certainly wouldn't recommend those batteries to anybody. Not based on what I've read in that thread. Um, now, the thing I want to make clear is, and this applies to all reviews and all testing and whatnot, this is what one person found out. It's like me slagging off a device and saying it's this, it's that, it's going to blow up in you. Um, that's my opinion. Now you can take that with a pinch of salt and just go and do whatever you want. Or you can go and watch lots of other reviews and then make a, an informed decision. Um, unfortunately we just have this guy's but I kind of, you know, I've read a lot of his stuff in the past and he knows what he's talking about, in my opinion, I think he knows what he's talking about and I kind of trust what he's saying, um, which is why I wouldn't recommend this by a 40 amp batteries until they come back with a response to his testing. Anyway, there you go. Knew I had to get something out there and mention that. Um, okay. Oh! I put it back in the box because I kept playing with this. Uh, right. This arrived the other day. I've got to put this bloody thing down. Um. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is just awesomeness and a whole awesomeness scale. So I'm just grabbing a battery here. Did I show this off last week? I can't remember. This is the, the Kensi. Is it the Kensi? Slide. Fight Club. Remember Fight, Fight Club? Slide. Penguin. Slide. Anyway, I'm wrapped. Now, this is a bit of a behemoth. Uh, this is a single 18650 mod, a mechanical. These covers just slide off, right? And that's it. Um, now, I think I, I do you know what? I'm going to put this up close here. Hopefully you can see that. See the action there? I, 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 a lot of people are going to look at this device and just go, excuse my language here. Um, that's fucking huge. That's ugly as shit. That's minging. How much? However, you get tools with it, and and spanners, and and sheets of paper with instructions, and 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 it's. Cool. <laughs> it's just so cool. I love this thing. This uh, this to me is um, this is for me just one of the great things about vaping. Um, there is there is nothing on paper that should make me like this device. That, do you know? There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. But see, see the action. And that's sliding down. You know, it's held by a magnet there, and then it just comes down again. Um, that action is so smooth, so well designed and built. It's exquisite. It is exquisite. I know I'm going to do this review, and people are just going to go, "Nah, makes of dead, um, and it's too big." For and it's only a single 18650. You're wrong. You have to. Ah. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I can't remember the price on it just now. Uh, but Kensey Mods. It's. Uh, K Kilo Echo November Sierra Indigo Kensey uh, 
mods. You'll find them on Facebook. Um, go and have a look at the stuff. You'll see lots of photos there of the machining and how it's built and whatnot. And the guys have their own CNC shop. Yeah. It's just exquisite. Absolutely. Just exquisite. Um, right. What, 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 what else? Um, do you know, I've not got a lot of anything going on. Um, I'm actually almost caught up on every single review I need to do. I mean, I've got the Kenzie to do um, and a couple of drippers. I think that's it. Um, on my... Oh, I'll tell you you got in touch with me. Futon. Um, the Aqua. The Aqua SE. He's released an Aqua SE. He's sending that on to me. So I'll get a play with that. Uh, I love the Aqua. The capacity was too small. Um, but hopefully something will come of that. Um, the Mirage Rebuildable Drip Atomizer. I've no idea who that's coming from. I'm supposed to be reviewing it on Sunday, but it's not here yet, so it's getting moved out. Uh, the Vect... So I've actually got nothing on for this weekend. No reviews this weekend. I'm having a weekend off. I'm going to build my squonker. I'm going to... Uh, yes, I shall be build my squonker. Please let me build my squonker this weekend. Um, so I've got the Vector. Yeah, should be enough time. Uh, I'll have the review done for that for next Wednesday. The Aqua, uh, not much of anything else. This is pretty cool, actually. Oh, I could retire now. I could just shut the doors and say I'm retiring. Can I retire? Um, I'm old enough. Do you know? Do you know what the worst feeling in the world is? You get to a certain age, and you go to the hairdressers, and you notice you've got a little bit of grey coming through, and they cut the hair, and the grey goes, and you go. Awesome, it's gone. And then you get a certain age where you go to the hairdressers and they cut it, and the grey's still there. That is a, it's it's like finding your first pubic grey hair. It's just a, it just kills you. It does kills you. Um, I did just say that, didn't I? Some things I shouldn't say. Um, <laughs> right. I think I'm, can I say that? I think I'm almost done. Uh, somebody's just posted in my timeline. Who's posted in my timeline? Gary Fraser's just said that he's thinking the new white tank that comes with the new Kanga Subtonic Subbox Mini would look mighty fine on a Stormtrooper. You might be right, Gary. You might be right. Um, and Eric Todd, not a problem, not a problem. Um, right. Actually, I'm just... Um, did uh, Pete, did Pete have a... Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm reading somebody's timeline here. I'm sh... I'm almost... Ah, to hell with it. I need a new phone. I want a new gadget. Uh, I want a new gadget. Um, but that's random. I was going to... I was going to launch into something. Nah, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Guys, I'll post this up, put it up tomorrow night or so Thursday night you'll get to see this uh, total crap fest um, uh, you'll see no reviews from me until next week um, enjoy the peace and quiet enjoy the peace and quiet and uh, please uh, go along to my uh, Remember, you can win this on my Facebook page, uh, and you can go along to my YouTube, no, along to my eBay page and put a bid in for some of this stuff. Uh, I'm taking some of the money this time, and the rest is going to Dogs Trust down in London. Uh, so that's where the charity money is going this time.
think somebody wants to play. You want me to throw one of them? Eh? Would you like me to throw a hoop for you? Hoops. Hoops. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Hey guys, we'll catch you later. Cheers now.